who am I? Um, I'm really hard to describe. I mean, everybody's hard to describe, right? But I'm really, really hard to describe because I've got this little thing. It's not a big thing. Well, it's big-ish, depending on the way you look at it. I mean, it's not big, it's not tiny, it's just, it's just a thing, that's all. <laughs> but, but, but how to tell you about it? Um, I'm in the supermarket years ago looking for some peaches. You know, sometimes when you wake up in the morning and you have like a crazy, crazy craving for peaches, it was like that. And I'm shimmering, <laughs> but literally shimmering. As I've chosen that morning for my early morning visit supermarket attire, a sequined shirt in which I absolutely adore that I can never find the right, right occasion for. Um, it matched my mood. I was in a really, really good mood, which is kind of the problem. Um, and just when I thought my mood couldn't get any better, I spotted the vegetable counter. <laughs> What I didn't know at the time is that my ostensible search for peaches was in reality just a search for adventure, maybe even love. I mean, if you can find a love early in the morning at the supermarket, you know you can trust it. I mean, nobody's here looking for a one night stand or, or an easy pickup or an easy lay. Men are the real deal in here. I mean, men aren't what, high on cocaine or this false courage or whatever it is that gets them going, who knows? Um, I mean, and if you strike out, it's not like you have to skulk off into the night empty-handed like a total loser. You're in a supermarket. There's still tons of bargains in here. And this is where the problem starts. The vegetable counter. It was a really, really good mood. And I saw him. <laughs> I think I was more excited to see him than I was the peaches. Like I said, right? The search for maybe love that I just didn't know at the time. But then it comes over me and it's just like, it comes out of nowhere. And I don't know what triggers it, whether or not it's like a chemical imbalance, psychological, hormones, I don't know. But it just comes and it's like there's no getting away from it. It's like it can sense that you're happy. For once, right? So I'm sitting there, happy, in the supermarket, talking to this guy that was better than the peaches. And, uh, and I just start crying. I start crying. And there's no controlling it. So, yeah, I have this thing, but like I said, it's not, it's not a big thing, it's just, it's just a thing, that's all. <laughs>